about what is CSV data and how to create it. So CSV it stands for the comma separated values. You can see here the course, comma, year, comma, students. The values can be text, it can be numbers, and each new data row will be separated by a new line. So again, the values separated by comma, then new records separated by new line. As a result, you will have a table, as you can see over here. And it's very easy to create. So how? First, you open any text editor on your computer. Second, you write data values separated by comma and new records separated by new line. Then you save your file as file.csv. That's it. Let's see in practice. First, I have text editor text edit. Second, I wrote here some data. And the last step, file, hit save, and write down your name of the file, dot csv. That's it. You will have a result as a table view, like this. Let's practice and then you will do it on your own. I will open the text edit. A new document. And write course. I will make the font bigger so you can see it. course, year, students, let's say statistics, year 2024, students 16. Uh, you can have one value, like one word, uh, it can be several, let's say data science, and the space is fine. So let's say 20. And one more, computing, 2022, 14. We're ready to save it. File, save. Uh, then we add the name, let's say data test. And then after the dot, we put CSV. That's all. Hit save. It asks you if you want to have uh, an additional RTF format. Okay, uh, use BORS. Uh, then we have here the file. I will close this in order to make a change. So I want to delete the rest and just use one data format. It asks you if you really want to do that. Yes, use CSV. Okay. Now you can open this, let's say, with Microsoft Excel. And because we had several data formats, we can have some additional settings, which you can delete. And I will make it bigger so you can see. This is our table. Yes, we have additional settings here. I will delete those. So this is a little bit clean up and data preprocessing. Uh, and 
it because just we hate to use their several data formats. Uh, but for now, we can save it uh, as a CSV. Save as or Excel or any other. So it will be comma separated values. Save, replace. And that's it. Practice to create your table with CSV data. And good luck.